Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new flashback Varati card to review. Uh, guys, if you guys don't remember, there was the Rule Breakers version of this card, uh, which I'm going to show you guys right now. There was only two things that you actually had to work with when it came to that card, right? So the two things was the fact that his sprint speed was low, right? With the Shadow Chemist cell, the acceleration wasn't as bad during the time period. And it was obviously his height as well, right? So the height in certain cases could have been a problem too uh, for certain interceptions, certain tackles, and all that good stuff. With this Verratti card, guys, I do feel like for the meta of the game nowadays, he definitely looks really, really solid. So if we actually take a look at this card's in-game stats, he's five foot five, medium high work rates, right footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. So starting off nicely so far as the versatile, uh, quick type of uh, midfielder. Player traits, he has the dives into tackles traits, he has the outside foot shot traits, and the flare traits. So, in my opinion, you can actually use this card as your stay back while attacking center mid, and he would actually offer you a good attacking presence as well, which would definitely be very, very solid to work with. In-game attributes, we're going to be obviously giving this card uh, a shadow chemistry style because of the fact that his pace is set up a certain way. So we're gonna give him a plus 10, plus 10 in that area while essentially making his defense as perfect as possible. Shooting for a midfielder, also very, very nice with really high attacking positioning. So, you know, a card like this, as long as you are using him next to somebody else who's a little bit more physical oriented, for instance, you know, maybe you get that link to uh, a Gwenduzi or something like that, that would be an ideal link up because you got the high, high work credit card with the medium high and the medium high would be the small one while you have the physical tall one next to him, right? So it would be super ideal to be working with that. But the fact that he does have the um, outside foot shot trait is definitely a huge plus with those shooting stats as a person that you're mainly going to be using for defensive capabilities, right? Uh, base card stats for passing also in a fantastic area as well for a midfielder. That's awesome for someone who moves around the pitch really quickly. Dribbling stats, super, super high for this Verratti card, which obviously is going to be incredible to work with because on the shadow chemistry style with this card, guys, the fact that he is someone who has a unique body type while being that short is a huge plus to work with. Uh, and then last but not least, for physical capabilities, a card is going to be really fast with really high aggression. So that's going to be a very important thing uh, to take a look at as well. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the SBC, and I'll show you guys how we line them up in-game. Okay, guys, so now that he's in the team, uh, we actually have something that we can work with uh, to put Verratti in the squadron for what we're working with right now with all the new players and whatnot. We're gonna have two short midfielders, uh, but we'll see what's the what's the vibe with him. So yeah, we're gonna give him the shadow chemistry style. This is actually perfect for my team because of the chemistry links that I need for a medium high work rated card with those PSG links and stuff, right? But with Verratti, guys, we are gonna be trying him out obviously in the midfield setup. So we're gonna have one variation where he's gonna be playing um, next to Thomas Lamar in the CDM position to test all defensive capabilities. And then we will also make him the attacking oriented player in this position. So we're going to do this, switch that there. And Zufati, yes. Instructions, you're the attacking one. So we're going to switch you to the right side. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll try out both formations. Hopefully he is a beast. And dribbling, not too bad so far. <laughs> Maybe if he had a bigger body type, he would have actually got to that, but at least he went for it. So what I could tell you guys just right now is that uh, Verratti doesn't have that same, like, emphasis on his dribble like Lamar does, which... Is a huge plus for sure. Ooh, very aggressive and fast. That was nice. Yeah, see, there's just like... There's no, like, restriction with the left stick. It's just... It's very responsive. Excuse me. Switch here, yeah. Right away, too. It's nice. Like, even though there's emphasis behind the turn, it's like a fast one, which is important. Yeah, that transition speed is crazy. 
That's really nice. Like the overcommitments, he doesn't drag out too much. That's really good AI. He's kind of like tracking right next to me while I'm defending with the other players. Nice. Pass it off. Oh, unlucky. That was like some really nice uh, acceleration. That was really good. Very fast track back, to be fair. An interception. A really nice pass. Oh. Yeah, track back was really good. I'm able to switch them and get the ball back defensively. Beautiful. Big switch downwards here. Nice. Well weighted. To be fair, that area, you're actually supposed to use your center back to defend, but he still did a really good job there. That sprint speed boost that they gave him, that's going to be huge, bro. That was like the main thing that he was missing on that rule breakers during the time period. Like if you're manually defending, but most of it was like acceleration at the time. So you're still good. But now that this card has sprint speed for the meta of this game, it's very important to have for the manual defending. Yeah, just explosive. See, you can do like some small little left sticks. Use the R trigger to uh, dash right into space quickly. Nice goal. We'll take that. I'll trigger. Nice. He actually pushes it backwards as well. But that's like basically Nani versus um, Spain with the Ronaldo goal. Not the same type of goal. Just the fact that he wants to steal all that glory when Isco just did a fantastic shot there. All done. Yeah, very responsive for a midfielder. Oh, we hit the crossbar. Unlucky. He actually scores. So that's with him on balance, right? So you can see that with his attacking positioning, he actually does commit forward on the attack a little bit. Yeah, this is like uh, this is a gameplay commentator card, guys. You know, gameplay commentator for sure. Yeah, track back was still great there. Pass it upwards here with the weak foot. Nice. Look at that transition speed. That's crazy. In position again. Aggressive interception there with him. Nice. That was all AI. Yeah, I pushed Nacho out of position. You could already see him accelerating into that position. So, obviously, he's not going to be, like, tall enough or physical enough to block out that type of shot like really, really out of position, but you can see it AI wise again, how he gets back into those defensive positions as much as I need him to. Yeah, quick touch, nice. The heights there uh, definitely gonna be a factor when it comes to winning those physical battles, but the track back again, absolutely nuts on the card. Pass off, nice. So it's these moments, right? You see where he's putting the pressure tactics on? That's when you need your players to be as responsive as possible when building up the attacking play. Because it's going to be super annoying to face these types of guys. And if they can't dribble under, like, really well under pressure, that's going to be a problem, right? So it's good that he can. 
Nice switch upwards. Aggressive interception again. As well, I'll body him too. I'm going to commit him as well. Pull him back. Nice. Again, pressure tactics, right? We're going to do this. We'll touch L1R1. Ooh, not bad. It was a great pass. It was a really good pass. Ooh, not bad, not bad. It's the quick tracking, man. Quick tracking, manually, defends well. Nicely done. Driven. Pass again. Oh, over the bar that time. Unlock it. Nice. I felt that like speed behind it too when he was trying to get the ball. That was cool. First time. Really good pass with the weak foot. It's just not a pass you should be making. I just want to test it. No! What was that save animation? That was so weird. Second man press. Pass it off. Nice. Well done. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the flashback Verati card. So, guys, listen, when it comes to the chemistry style and what option you want to go with, it's really going to depend on where you position him mostly on the pitch. Because you have to remember that for defensive stats, it's already in the 90s area. So what you can actually do with a card like this is you can give him a hunter chemistry style, right? And actually offer some sort of attacking support if you're playing him as the attacking oriented center mid or you're playing him in that right mid position, you know, a card that can actually push forward and come back because of the fact that he has a 95 stamina. Using him in those positions would essentially be like you switching your fullback into that area and then the other side is the attacking oriented player so that's something that you can do if you really want to work with it uh when it comes to an attacking capability i do always believe that giving these cards you know as high as possible defensive stats is always going to be the most ideal because you want them to be as good as possible defensively guys i think that this card is genuinely good at doing everything except for physical presence type plays sometimes, right? So that was the case with the card before as well, when it comes to like certain interceptions or, you know, going for a header and stuff, because it's jumping as low and he's a shorter player, those are the types of things that sometimes you miss. But a card like this, guys, in your team is genuinely a gameplay compensator, okay? That's what I like to call these types of guys. For me personally, if there was a way for me to fit Verratti, Mbappe, and Nkunku in the same team and use Nkunku next to Verratti, that would be a perfectly fine combination play to work with because Verratti's a four-star, four-star player, right? Because he has the capability of working with that weak foot, playing him in the left center defense mid position on shadow chemistry style with someone who's decently heighted, you know, a decent height, decently heighted, well, I'm going to start using that, um, you know, a card that, you know, has a really good height next to him, that's going to be very ideal. I always tell you guys that I feel like in the midfield position, it will always be better to have taller physical dudes that can dribble, attack, and defend with the high, high work rates for sure. But I really enjoy using Verratti's card because when the gameplay doesn't feel up to par, it's a gameplay commentator. Quick dribbles, great passes, opens up the space for the attack. It's a really good card to work with. And AI-wise, he has some really good aggressive interceptions and tackles in certain cases. You could see I wasn't controlling him in those areas and he was just doing it himself. So for me personally, I think the SBC at 260K that for a guy that gives you Italian links as well as League One PSG links, I think the SBC is a W personally. Uh, I would still use him in the team regardless of the height situation because I think he's still very nice to use for the meta of the game while giving you those really, really solid links. Because if we're taking a look at comparisons, for this league i do think personally that cards like paqueta and guendouzi especially those new ones are definitely going to be very ideal 
but I also think they're going to be very expensive nowadays. Uh, I had to check them out afterwards, but if we check out the League One players, you know, obviously Paqueta, definitely more meta, in my opinion, because of the high, high, average body type, blah, 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 right? Uh, but he's not a medium high worker to player. So that type of play style is a little bit different. Fofana is the same, Winduzi is the same. I do feel like those cards are more for the meta of the game, for sure, but also a little bit more expensive as well. So as an SBC, I think they fairly priced this Verratti card at 260k because there's not really that many medium high worker to players that will perform like this Verratti card. So I think it's an incredibly fair price point considering the fact that they know that his height will affect them sometimes. So uh, WSBC in my books, I like the price range a lot. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. We're going to see what we can uh, review today. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.